today we are finally going to be tackling the pantry. This has been a long time coming. We're not buying anything. We're using what we have, then maybe later we'll buy something. I'm tired of waiting for things to be perfect. It is time to get it done. We just bought a lot of groceries and there's nowhere to put it inside of the pantry. But first, let's, let's, come on, come on. Let's go into the pantry. Let's go, let's go. Come on and watch your step now. <laughs> come on through. So, as you can see, we have our shelves full. The floor, I'm losing my shoes. Let me not hit my head. And then all through here. We're gonna clean all this out today? Um. We're just gonna try? Yeah, we're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna start with this side and then we're gonna see how we feel and go from there. Cause this side is um, gonna be like my baking stuff. So I may have to do this separately, but at least this side and at least in here a little bit. Yeah, this is what we are working with. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Court and I'm trying to get my life together. We just recently moved into a new home and we are finally getting the opportunity to tackle this pantry. Well, I should say that we're finally being brave enough to tackle this pantry. <laughs> so we moved into our new home about two months ago and I was so blessed and fortunate that my mom and my husband's mom they came in and they took everything out of our boxes and you know put it in the pantry for us and then things just kind of went from there now if it were left up to me all of our pantry items will still be inside of boxes so i am so thankful for them coming and tackling that project for us because they knew <laughs> they knew <laughs> But yes, we're just getting started by taking everything out of the pantry. We're really just focusing on this one side, the other side. I plan on utilizing that space for my bakery items. So that will probably probably be in another video. So yeah, we're just gonna tackle this one side here for this video. too confident. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. This side of the shelves are empty, minus these um, paper towels. Yeah, we pulled out the boxes from here. There's still some in there, but we're not gonna take those out just yet. And then of course, there's this whole side. like a lot of trash but there's really not that much this looks like a big bag because it's just like big boxes in here surprisingly it's not much trash okay so i have basically already gone through 
and like separated knit everything into like little stations. Probably can't tell, but I know what it is. Mm -hmm. So we just got everything sorted and separated out. And now we're gonna make a game plan for what we're gonna do next. Okay, so this is kind of the setup that we're thinking right now. We did go ahead and like try to plan everything out so we can have an idea of where things are gonna go. We may still have to shift things around, um, but this is what we have so far. So when we did this, we're trying to think about the kids and not having them have complete access to certain things, but also like safety, you know, with like the glass jars and just making sure that they're able to reach what they need. So yeah, we may have to switch and rotate some things around, but this is what we have so far. Now we're getting into the super fun part where we get to fill up all these containers. It's so satisfying watching everything go into their containers. Um, all the containers that I am using are containers that we have already previously purchased. Like I mentioned in the, in the beginning of this video, I'm not buying anything for this pantry transformation, at least on this video. Um, and everything that I do have has come from either Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Those are the places where I live and where I thrive. <laughs> This process was fairly smooth when we were going about doing it. And I think the main reason of that was planning out ahead of time. So we put each container on the shelf in the place that we wanted to, where we wanted it to go. And then we looked at what we had and then assigned a container for each of the snacks or like foods that we had. So it just really made it super easy to just be able to go in order and just feel confident in putting everything where it belongs and putting it back into the pantry. The first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah. Someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah It's calling sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah
I am loving how the pantry is turning out so far. Everything just looks so good and so neat. I did have to utilize some of the space on the other side of the pantry, which is fine um, for like the paper products and for like our breads and things. I do want those to be on the lower shelves and within reach. And it just didn't kind of fit into my flow on the other side. So I did decide to utilize the space on the other side. And like I said, we'll be tackling this other side in another video. Um, possibly on my other channel. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll see what happens. But yeah, I think it is turning out so well at this point. So tell me what you think. If you think I did a great job, please give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to join me along this journey of turning our house into a home and just getting my life together. I hope to see you all in the next one.